Hi, I'm Ralph Moss. Welcome to Moss Reports. So have you seen this story? Uh, it's just, it came out in April, but it's really something amazing. Uh, Goldman Sachs, which is like one of the top investment banks on Wall Street, uh, issued a report basically telling their biotech uh, clients not to cure cancer or any other diseases for that matter. Uh, the report was written by a vice president over there at, uh, at Goldman Sachs, and they basically make the argument that uh, uh, if you cure a disease, then uh, you're going to wipe out your, your client base. People won't be coming back to you for treatment. So the best thing is to have what they call chronic treatments for chronic diseases. In other words, keep the people somewhat sick, uh, maybe if there's more side effects, you know, then you have to treat the side effects. In any case, you're, you're drumming up business that way. So uh, they actually, you know, sent this out to their clients. I tried to get a copy of it. They wouldn't uh, send it to me, but it was covered in about um, 10 different places, including, as you can see on the screen, at uh, CNBC. So, you know, this is like so blatant. Like they used to hide this stuff. And if you dare to point out that their only interest really was in making a bunch of money off of cancer and other diseases, then you were called a, you know, tinfoil hat person and a conspiracy theorist and all the rest of it. Those are the nice things they said about you. But here they are basically admitting it and not worrying about the public seeing them do it. That's really how far we've progressed, uh, that these so-called masters of the universe really don't give a damn what we think or what we do. And we're just fodder for them to make billions of dollars. This is a trillion dollar company, by the way, Goldman Sachs. So I think the thing is we've got to focus on our own needs and not be afraid to, you know, to go against these people and expose them whenever we can. Because if we don't, you know, we're going to be the ones who are going to pay the price both in terms of money, but also in terms of continuing sickness and, and uh, misery. Okay, that's it for now. This is Ralph Moss.